gone on. I farm the heart here in county. I've been growing switchgrass for nine years now, and uh, it's one of the it's one of the most exciting crops, let's say, that I've ever had anything to do with. I've been farming for 48 years in the cash crop industry. We established 70 acres of, of sweet grass uh, north of Godridge, right on the shoreline, using spring wheat. And as you can see in the picture on the far side, uh, it was a very clean crop. We had the best establishment I've ever had in sweet grass. I found the sweet grass, you know, direct seeded, got a nice crop of fox the first year. I planted it with oats, which are maybe too tall, and it shades the crop too much. We found spring wheat is almost the ideal crop. It's short, <coughs> strong, it stands upright, and that's lots of sunlight in between the plants, and that's what the, what the plant really likes. If you look in the picture on this side, you, if you look carefully down the bottom, you'll see the switchgrass, little plants growing there. That was right the day before harvest. So that's what, how tall they were. So pay attention to that particular picture and compare it to this one. Here's a picture of what we did last year. This is RC Tecumseh from Reef Canada. It was only applied at three and a half pounds. The, the other picture you saw was at eight to nine pounds per acre. And that picture was taken the day we harvested it, and we just clipped the heads off the wheat because the, this variety was so aggressive. And even at three pounds, we got virtually a perfect stand. And it's only a one and a half acre plot, but it's virtually a perfect stand and the switchgrass was so tall, I'd say we just had to clip the tops off the wheat. The second method as part of the, the research program here was to experiment with wrapping. And uh, what you see there is switchgrass that was wrapped last spring. And you can see how the grass was just growing. That was baled actually the beginning of June and wrapped uh, very close to it. About 8% moisture going into that stack. You'll see that we had a few problems with keeping the wrap continuous. The switch wrap is fairly sharp. We were going to try, you know, just doing two wraps because, you know, we're just trying to keep the rain out. We're not trying to keep it necessarily airtight like we would the silage. Wrapping in the field like this, we didn't have bottom bend. When we had it set up on our gravel pad on the previous year with straw for trial, we got ice between the, the rows of wraps because all the snow filled up and the water didn't get away and the, the bottom was damaged. So the conclusion is, in the full report, We'll of course address it in detail, is that wrapping is successful. You don't have to worry what underneath it. Um, and then there are wrappers that will make it more commercially viable. And I think you have a few pictures of those first. Yep. Yeah. Receding. We basically look at two options when, when you have a, when you see it before and end up with bare patches, what are you going to do? Well, uh, you try to fix what's broken. Uh, and we see two options, frost seeding, probably more for really patchy areas where you can be very selective, and then uh, with a no-till drill on larger areas. So basically, you just have to do everything.